Hey, well gone. It's Mr. Garthrid here again. And we're going to be looking at a CSET Mathematics past paper question from the January 2021 paper. All right, and I'm focusing on the very first question on the paper always, which is fractions. Okay. And here it says using a calculator or otherwise, we are to calculate the exact value of 1 and 4 over 7 plus 2 over 3 minus 1 and 5 over 6. All right. So I will be doing this two ways. So we're going to calculate it. All right. We're going to work it out. And we're going to also calculate it using our scientific calculator. All right. Great. So let us start our solution here. All right, we're gonna start our solution here. Great. Now, the first thing that we normally do, right? You can, by the way, you can solve these types of problems in different ways, all right? Mathematics, there are many alternative solutions in mathematics. So I might do it one way and another teacher might do it a different way, okay? So the way how I will approach this question is that I'm going to convert this mixed number here into an improper fraction, okay? What is an improper fraction? An improper fraction is where we have a bigger number, all right? So the number in the numerator is larger than the number in the denominator, all right? Or in other words, the number in the numerator is greater than the number in the denominator. Okay, so let us convert this mixed number here, one and four over seven, to an improper fraction. So what we tend to do here is to really multiply the number in front by the denominator first. All right, so we're going to multiply the one and the seven there. All right, so we're going to multiply there. And then after we multiply, we are going to add the number to four, all right, which is our numerator. All right, and whatever value that we get, we're going to put it in the numerator and divide it by the same denominator, which is seven. All right, so I hope that was clear. So let us just go through it. All right, so we're going to add here. Great. So we're going to multiply the 1 and the 7. So 1 times 7 is 7. All right. And then what do we do? We add that number to our numerator 4. So 7 plus the 4 is going to give us 11, right? It's going to give us 11. That's going to be 11 in the numerator. And then we're going to divide it by the same denominator, which is 7. All right, so the denominator will not change. Great. I'm going to write back my plus. I'm going to write back my plus 2 over 3 here. Okay. And then we're going to do the same thing now to the last fraction here, which is also a mixed number. So we're going to multiply the 1 and the 6 here. Okay. And the result that we get, we're going to add it to the numerator five, which is plus, all right? So that's gonna be six times the one, all right? So let me put the, the negative is there. So six times the one is gonna be six plus the five, which is going to be 11, all right? That's gonna be 11, so let's write it down. So it's 11 divided by the same denominator, which is six. So the denominator will not change. Okay, excellent. So now that we have converted these, the mixed numbers into improper fractions, let us now sum these fractions, all right? So what I'm going to do, is to find what we call the least common multiple, all right? The least common multiple 
of the numbers seven, three, and six. All right? Popularly known as the LCM. Okay? Now, there are some students who might know it off the top of their head, or there are some students who can use a calculator and determine the LCM. All right? But let me just remind those. Let me just remind those who, who might not do it that way. All right, so we're going to recall how to do, how to find the LCM of three numbers. So what I'm going to do is write down some of the multiples of those numbers. So I'm going to write down the multiples, the multiples of three. All right, I'm going to start with three first. So the multiples of three, all right? So the multiples of three, the multiples of three are three, six, nine, 12, 15, 18, 21, 24, 27, 30, 33, 36, 39, 42, 45, and so on, right? And so on. Those go on and on and on. Good. Now I have the multiples of three. I'm going to now write down some of the multiples of six. All right, so multiples of six. Okay. Let's write down the multiples of six now. So the multiples of six are going to be six, 12, 18, 24, 30. 36, 42, 48, and so on, okay? And I'm now going to write down the multiples of the other denominator, which is seven, okay? So the multiples of seven are seven, 14, 21, 28, 35, 42, 49, and so on. Okay, great. Now that we have the multiples of three, six, and seven, let us find the least common multiple. All right, so the, so the least common multiple is basically the number that you see listed, all right? The number that you see listed, that is in all three, okay? Now, if you observe carefully, you can see that 42 is here, 42 is here, and 42 is also here, okay? So it means that our LCM of three, six, and seven is, 42, all right? So there are some cases where you find other, multi, you find other multiples, all right? Other common multiples between the numbers, right? But, but what do we want? We want the least common multiple. So we want, we don't just want the common multiple, but we want the least common multiple, meaning that we want the smallest multiple. Okay, the smallest common multiple of all the three. Good. So let me just write down now the LCM, all right? The LCM of six, three, and seven, okay? Let's write that down over here. Now, in mathematics, sometimes we use this notation, all right, LCM, of the numbers seven, three, and six, all right? So the LCM of those three numbers is equal to 42, 
All right, that's the notation that, that we use. Great. So it means that 42 is going to be my denominator when I sum these fractions. All right, good. Let's do the process now. So I'm now going to say 42 divided by the denominator here, seven. All right, 42 divided by the seven is going to give me six. I'm going to take that six and multiply it by my numerator here, which is 11. So here in my new, in my new numerator, I'm going to have 11 multiplied by the six plus 42 divided by my denominator here, which is three is going to give me 14. I'm going to multiply that 14 by my numerator, which is two. So it means that my new numerator is going to be two multiplied by the 14. All right, I'm gonna have that in my numerator. All right, and there's a minus. I'm going to now divide this 42 by my denominator, which is six. All right, that's going to give me seven. And I'm going to multiply that seven by my numerator, which is negative 11. So it means that my new numerator is going to be 11 multiplied by the seven. Okay, good. So 11 multiplied by six, so we have to simplify now. 11 multiplied by six is going to give me 66 plus two multiplied by the 14 is going to give me 28 minus 11 multiplied by the seven is going to give me 77. Okay, and remember now that I am dividing this, I'm dividing all of that by 42, all right? Dividing all of that by 42, excellent. So this is now equal to, this is now going to be equal to 66 plus 28 minus 77 is going to give us 17 and we are dividing that by 42. And that is my final answer, okay? 17 divided by 42 is my final answer. Now, let me just show you how to also calculate this same problem using a scientific calculator, okay? So I'm going to show to you using the, the scientific calculator. All right. So let me just bring up my, my calculator and then I'm going to share. Okay. So I'm going to bring my calculator up and the screen. Right. That is what I want. Okay. So let me just move the calculator here and we're gonna calculate the same problem. All right, so let me go back up to the original problem here. And let us just erase these. All right, good. So let us calculate this same statement now using the calculator. So I want the mixed number one and four over seven. So I'm gonna say shift fraction sign, all right, the fraction symbol is here. And I'm gonna enter one and four over seven. Great. Plus I have two over three. So I'm gonna click the fraction symbol and I'm gonna have two over three. Okay, good. And then I have minus a uh, mixed fraction. So I'm gonna say shift fraction symbol one and five over six. All right, so that is our problem. We just now click the equal sign. And indeed we get our answer, which we have just calculated to be 17 over 42. Okay, excellent. So you see that you could, we could use the calculator as well to verify our answer, all right? So that is it for this question here. I hope that it was helpful because I know that 
fractions can be a difficult topic for many students in CSEC mathematics, all right? And I hope that you understood what I did, okay? So if this was helpful, please ensure to like up the video and comment down below and subscribe to the channel, all right? I am Mr. Garth Reed, student ambassador in the University of Technology, Jamaica, and I'm a mathematics teacher in training in the School of Mathematics and Statistics. I thank you for joining.